Kim, do you know where we are? No. So I used to live right there when I was a kid, went to school over there. Wow. So this is like where I grew up. And look at the view. And then this place, this gallery is so pretty. I absolutely wanted to do a video here. So here we are. Here we are. Oh my god, is that an Apple But we, oui, that's what I told you. I said, look at the view. Okay, so we'll do a little makeup that I'm quite excited about. I love chocolate lips for fall, but it's always scary, I feel like, to use because it's so dark and it doesn't have any like pink undertones or red undertones that make it look really bad mean, like fresh. But Galan has this new lipstick, Rouge, and I love the color. I didn't work on it. It was already done when I joined, and I actually love it. So I was really excited to show a kind of brown that... Um, but I don't know why I can. When I'm in France, it's hard for me to speak English. Um, okay, so concealer. Right now, I'm really into Mars again because it's the only one that can really hide just the targeted shadows that I have here. I don't go too, too close uh, from the lash line, so it doesn't erase my features. Okay. Also, I, I read your comments that you're missing the videos where I'm using more products of other brands. I totally understand. The truth is like, I've been dreaming of doing this product for 15 years, so that's really what I use. I use my products all the time. And I think I'm thinking too much of like using what I use in videos instead of you know, making sure like I'm showing more products and I'm testing more products for you to have choices. So I hear you. I'll be careful. But it's true that I just love my products. But today we're gonna use other brands that I really like. Also, um, I'm not gonna like you've noticed. I didn't. I'm not doing as much YouTube videos because between family and the brand and the startup is definitely taking all your life time and Ghana. I have a lot to do like at the office but I'm really passionate about and it's really what I've been dreaming my whole life so I'm super happy to do it and YouTube was something that I've done um, really to express myself and to have fun and I think we've grown together so I don't want to lose that too much because that's that's how I met you guys but I think what we can do is focusing on doing less video but then take the time to make it like feel like the ones I did in the past and take the time to be a bit more creative in my looks so focus on quality and quantity so maybe you'll see me less So I'm using a brown matte um, eye pencil right now between my lashes and above. Kind of a little liner. Brown is like it's really especially for yellow on tone like me, like a leaf skin tone. It's definitely gonna show the shadows even more. So this is kind of where I have extra shadows. And I'm gonna add a tiny bit more, let it sit for a second. Well, I check the eye. So I just do like, yeah, that's a lot of one. I just do, I just use like a brown matte bathy eyeliner, eye pencil, and I kind of like do little things. Super, super simple. And then I'm gonna do mascara. Maybe let me just drink out this. And I put it on the Eiffel Tower, like it's still like Photoshop. On the Eiffel Tower? It has, but see, when it dries a little, targets easier. Like these past few months, this zone gotten really um, empty. So I have a little pimple here. Just like this is where it gets. 
dark. So the thing when you have very deep dark circles like me, you, you have to um, force yourself to not put like a ton because if you put a ton, then you're gonna have to bring this tonness everywhere. <laughs> so it's kind of a, a good exercise because it forces you to be like, okay, I'm gonna have dark circles, I'm gonna see it. It's the way it is. Then, let's do blush. This is just a pink blush, nothing special. It's just what we had with us. Um, I just like like a fresh pink, or something to um, to apricot, to orange. Also, I wanted to add a little bit of um, gold undertone on the bone shine. So this is old. You can't find this, but it's from Narcissus Man High Collection. I love this collection so much, and I really focus just right on the highlights. Maybe the same on that side. And then with Bone Shine, I'm gonna use this on top and it's gonna blend it because right now, you're maybe not seeing it on camera, but it's looking kind of crazy. But you see how nice it is. And that's a trick, like when you want to do a little um, a highlight that's, that, that's showing without being too textured on your skin, you can put pigments, like the, something more powdery that's really, really pigmented on the, really the, more fun part of where you want it make it really small and pat it with your finger and then don't try to make it too blended use bone shine on top so you can do like that i take a bit and then i pat over it and i go a bit wider it's a way to kind of like make it like spread and fuse with the skin That's the advantage of bone shiny is you can really um, kind of play with any texture of other colors you want. I'm gonna put it here also, just really for it to, to blend with my skin uh, more naturally. Mascara, I'm gonna curl my lashes because I have very short, I'm, I'm losing my hair like really crazy. So I started this supplement, see if that's helping. And so my lashes are the same, they're not that great right now. It's been a few months, it's like this. I got a little worried too because it was really impressive how much hair I lost. I don't know why, maybe the stress of the launch. <laughs> because I heard it's three months after big stress. You lose your hair, is that true? Maybe you guys know. So we now, what, five months after? I started losing my hair two months ago. So I like punch myself with the, with the mascara, so I have to clean up after. On top of my lashes, I need well, this mascara. It's a bit too old, so it's a bit clumsy, but I love it. But I do it anymore. When you have like clumps, clumps, crumbs, crumbs, <laughs> just go on top as well. And um, you, you, like you cannot help because you're basically brushing, brushing your lashes on top and the, and the bottom part. So you have to remove the pots. And I always love when the lashes here are really um, defined and up. I'm removing what I have on my lips. I just had a lip balm, but sometimes when you do your skin with a beauty blender, there's some um, contour like it comes over in your mouth. So I'm always make sure to clean. And then I'm gonna use Rouge. Look at the color, I'm really bad with I love this little pit full um, fabric on it. And the color 940. It's super gorgeous, very wearable brown. nice shape and after I'm gonna blur, blur it. Okay, so basically 
projet is like a velvet matte stick in the bullet. And what I love about it is that usually matte lipstick in a bullet are super dry and uncomfortable and this one is so nice to wear. You feel it, but it's a nice feel. Like it's, I'm happy to feel it. I don't know if that makes sense. And it's really, really not drying. So this um, brown has a bit of yellow and red, so that's why it makes it more luminous. And so the way I like to wear it is not like this, it's always blur. So it's strong but tender at the same time. I always like to have a balance between them. Um, Opposite, I guess. Now, the last step is I like to pad on top of the lips. So, see, it's kind of, you have to do the padding at the end. So first you have to do the lips contour a little bit strong, perfect. Then you kind of caress with your finger. Always use clean fingers, otherwise you're gonna mess it all up. And then you pat on top of it. So you have this like intensity, really opaque, smooth application, and then the little ombre just surrounding the edge of your lips. Makes sense. Um, okay, now the little touch of something. I'm gonna use my favorite pen, the wax pen. You can find that on Amazon. And very, very small ones. Because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. This you can find in nail art places. So it's really, really tiny. And you want it to be the other side. Hold on. I'm going to take two, put it here. Make sure the wax pen doesn't have any glue. And then, I'm really going to put between the lashes. I don't even know if you can see it. Sometimes the sun or the light is going to, let me say, Reflect. Like hit it, hit it and then it's gonna be like ping. So it's not like oh she has rhymes on her eyelashes. The person may not even see it before like 30 minutes. But at some point it's gonna shine and that's what I love. I love makeup sometimes, little surprises that are not so obvious to the eye and, and it's a very nice surprise. So you have to put it really in a lash line. Add again a tiny bit of concealer. I don't think I have that much concealer. I went to bed at 2 a.m. last night. So, this zone is gonna look really, really dark. Hold on. I don't even know if you can see it. Can you see it, Kim? Yes. Hello. Easy. Voila. Oh, I'm so happy to shoot in this place. My childhood place. 